they had a uh, the superstar Saturday breakfast. Oh right, the yes. Disney World thing that you did. Yes. Did you have any waffles? I had waffles. Oh good. And I did cut them. And did each wrestler come on it as per the request? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I was talking. Who to- wants to come with a wife? <laughs> <laughs> Is on? Sir, you're on In The Loop. What's your barrel fire hot take? Get me in, Hoppy. The fabulous buddy boys are the greatest tag team in the history of wrestling. Hold on, is that your brother? Yep. <laughs> What's up, bro? <laughs> What's going on? That's great. Congratulations. The bunny Hop. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of What's Wrong with Wrestling. I'm Andrew Bazzano, along with my brother Joe Bazzano and Eric Slamilton Hamilton. I'm here with Eric Hamilton. Eric, you went to SummerSlam. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> go ahead. Oh. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Let me get on. Fucking mark. Oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Just hit it. Hit it a bunch of times for yourself. No, a, no we're good. That's all we need. It's fine. Just the one. Just the one's good. Yeah. I don't believe you. Okay. <laughs> That's a lie. That's fair. Yeah, right. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. Go, Go ahead. On. So are every we, detail. Yes. Are, absolutely. Are we starting with the with my report? I mean, how long is it? Is it is it long? It's a little long. Go on a little bit. You want, you want to start with the Mark report? Or do you want to do after breaking news? No, yes. we might as well start Let's, with the Mark okay. report. I thought right? maybe after breaking okay. news, the All Mark right. report. So let, let I was thinking, like, maybe you could use, like, the Hollywood hogwash. Like, here's the Hollywood hogwash. Like, some cool, like, news report music. No, 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 I think this is good. You fucking mark! You fucking mark! That's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, take it away. sounds about right. There's no other music. (laughs) <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, no. Hey, that is reserved for John. <laughs> he will accept his new music right, for his right. report. Yeah. As long as it's not that. Yes. Okay, so a few things. Flew in Friday morning. Uh touched down the airport about eleven. Mm-hmm. Uh I went straight to like the mall where the store was. Mm-hmm. Did store? my like the superstore. Oh, right. Oh, right, right. Fucking Mark! Sorry, it's, 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 it was but like it was auto. It wasn't very super. Yeah. So the WWE Superstore was in their mall? It was in a in a mall, Parking and then they lot? had one. No, like oh. in a mall. Oh. Because there's like a lot of... Empty. Empty. Yeah, malls are <laughs> going downhill. It's an America. abandoned mall, yeah. <laughs> basically. <laughs> they took over the entire thing and filled it. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, I got there. I had a meet and greet with uh, Liv Morgan. Yeah, like my tattoos. We made a joke. I was like, I came right from the airport. She's like, I came. That's it. Uh, That's the joke now. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh-huh. She was like, I just came from the airport too. And you didn't try to touch her. No, I don't. That makes well. One of us. If you can see, there's an there's actually an invisible barrier between <laughs> yes. the two. That's why he's standing right. so far away from yeah. her. They're In like, fact, he was actually further away, and yeah. they edited it to make him look right. closer. They're like, yeah. all right, here comes the next one. It's a guy. <laughs> what about the barrier? Yeah, the barrier. <laughs> they just they spray you with ass yeah. right yeah. before right. you go. Hold on. <sighs> okay. All right. She's not getting anywhere near him. No. She likes axe. No. It's just way better than ninety percent of <laughs> no. the fans that woke up. <laughs> yes. Uh, so that was cool. It was n- nice to meet her. I got a photo, digital copy. Yeah. Nice. Send it to you guys, and you know. And we jerked uh, off and, to and Joe jerked off to me, <laughs> I mean, standing awkwardly, leaving room for Jesus. You were my porn guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Right. Uh, so, yeah, uh, my Airbnb was really cool. Uh, everything was about a 10 to 15 minute walk. Okay. okay. So that's not bad. I did yeah. a lot of walking. Yeah. Um, which was good. Uh, I went to GCW that night. Oh, right. right. Sure. The GCW. Yeah. Who are of course, you? Of course. Yeah. Them. That's uh, Matt Cardona's. Yes. Well, right. he's there. He, he, he works there, right? He's the GM, <laughs> and he's like, I fucking hate this place. Oh, yeah, he's sure. like, this place sucks. You know, well, it's, he's the his heel. character. Yeah. He's, yeah, like, it, he's it, such yeah. a great heel. It's not real, Eric. Nah. You fucking Mark! Okay. Yes. Uh, so 
He did. Ha- he did like get everyone though. He's like for one night only, making her return to GCW. My hot fucking wife, Chelsea Green, and they hit the fucking Chelsea music. Yeah, I would have been like, no. And everyone's like, oh my god. I wasn't. I'm like, there's no way she could. No, of appear course not. here. Eric's and- not a fucking mark. I know, right? <laughs> what? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, then he's like, you fucking wish. Yeah, mm. so it, it, it was good. There was a lot of good matches. Uh, Zilla Fatu. Uh-huh. Uh, the other, 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 other. Oh, Oops. there's another one. Who are you? Correct. Yeah, yeah he's the one with uh, the Umaga tattoo on his Oh, chest. he's Joey's that one. With the <laughs> Umaga tattoo. The one who's been doing the Samoan spike. <laughs> we have like spike. a code now, right? <laughs> yeah. What? what? <laughs> Who are you? Well, sure. He's been doing the Samoan spike on the, uh, oh. the Indies. Yeah. Good. Uh, so also, uh, Jinder Mahal. Going, I saw your uh, post, yeah. Yeah. Where the hell have you been? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> right, so the match is going on, right? Yeah. And then these two guys run out, black hoods, black hoodies. Like, oh my God, who is it? They pull pull off the mask and it's two. Who are you? Like, no one knew who they were. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know. Oh my God. No one knew who these guys. Yeah. So then the match goes on, and then two more run out, and it was the fucking Bollywood boys. Oh, boy. Oh. Yes. Yeah, so they actually got a pretty good pop from sure. the crowd. You know? they, were, they were fun. Yeah. Uh, so that was cool to see. Uh, and then uh, the main event was mm. uh, Nick Gage, gang, gang, gang. Oh, wow. Gang, Your gang, gang. Yeah. MDK uh, <clears throat> versus Matt Hardy. Oh God! For their world title? No. Oh. For a hundred bucks, it was winner gets a hundred dollars. No. no. <laughs> so they get the entire gate. That would be no I sense. Know, right? <laughs> <laughs> they get all of Eric's money. Right. So, uh, I mean, the match the match was what it was. It wasn't amazing, but it wasn't terrible. But what was crazy is he almost had bread part two. Oh boy! Like oh, Nick, I did hear about this. They got Gage, hurt. Nick Cage oh, gave him a DDT on the outside. All you hear is, and he's like, Dah! "Oh my god!" Or maybe and I'm like, they, "Oh maybe god, they... he's gonna pop up and say bread." Or do you think maybe they did that to scare people? He like, looked... hey, let's since I always am getting knocked out. That's his thing now. But it, it, but That's it is disgusting. Yeah. But it is kind of what he does. He right. does get knocked out a lot. Sure, <clears throat> but yeah. um, yeah. So that that was that was kind of scary. It mainly set up the main event for their or a match for their next one. It will be Cardona. Can't his, wait. Little lackey versus right. those two. Yeah. Uh, I will say uh, some of the the best heel work I've seen was from their champion, this guy named Mance Warner. Comes out and there's a kid wearing a Nick Gage hat. He takes it off. He spits in it twice and literally throws it across the arena. Yeah. This kid was fucking sobbing. Really? Oh, How old was the kid? I mean, he had to be like eight or nine. He did that to an eight-year-old? Yes. Well, Come you're, on, you're a dumb enough parent for bringing your child to, to, that to shit. this place. Yeah. Yeah, that's sitting, true. sitting front row. Oh, this kid was sobbing. The dad's like trying to console him. And who did that? Their champion. This guy, Mance oh. Warner. And he did it to a Nick Gage hat. Yes, he oh. saw a Nick Gage hat. So That's anyway, insane. the guy that he fought ended up putting him in a full Nelson. He's like, come on, kid, hit him. And the kid's like, oh, yeah. you know, and then everyone was chanting little kid. <laughs> little kid. <laughs> little kid. That's the best little thing kid. And you're like, right. fucking bullshit. I'm like, it should, it should have been, been me. <laughs> and Eric's like, I came for little Donnie. Well, he's not here. Came for little Donnie. <laughs> I, yeah, I wait, was, what match was Freight Train? Was the opening match? Uh, he actually wasn't there. I was waiting for it. Little Donnie. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I will say, I did go to the Superstore. Of course. Let's play higher or lower. Oh. Oh, boy. Who okay. wants to start? <clears throat> I'll start. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to nail this. Yeah. Oh, how much she spent? 95. Yeah. Lower. Okay. What? I'm proud of you. This is a prank. Come on. Yeah. You mean no like uh, like 595? <laughs> lower? All right. Yeah, I said 95. He said lower. Andrew, I'm about to buy it. 595. 595. 70? Lower. 55. Lower. He bought all of it outside the superstore. That's <laughs> what he's... From the scalpers. What did he, he want? 55? 55? Yeah. Zero. No. I, I spent... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. 25. Higher. 35. High. Higher. 45. Lower. 44. Lower. 41. 
Lower. I don't care anymore. <laughs> Can you just tell us the fucking number already? <laughs> You would have gotten you next. 40. Yeah, 40. Great. Spend so 40. Look, uh, I don't care. A, guy, uh, a friend of mine asked me to get him a program. He said he'd pay me for it. And then I bought a SummerSlam pin. Like, the hats were like orange and brown. Like, they were browns colors. I'm like, yeah. I don't want to wear an orange and brown SummerSlam hat. Right. Yeah, you bought a pin from there. But. I also noticed you bought a pin from someone else, didn't you, Eric? Yes, I bought... So I go on... Hold on. Uh, 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 uh. I went on Venmo. Oh. What was... This was Saturday, right? Saturday. This was Saturday. I go on Venmo to pay Aaron Rosa. He got me some jack. That's why I was... He jacked you. That's He did. That's why I was drunk on the SummerSlam recap. Oh, man. Missed uh, it. Yeah. Uh, So I go to pay Aaron back, and I just see Eric... You fucking Mark Hamilton paid Matt Cardona on Venmo. Yes. So if you want to buy something from Matt Cardona, he goes, well, here's my Venmo. Here you go. <laughs> well, do it there. He's like, I take Zell Venmo. I take OnlyFans. You want to pay me there? I have this five. <laughs> it out of work. It out of work. What do you want? You didn't have anything. You want, you want to touch my dick? <laughs> Twenty dollars. Five, five dollars for a CJ. <laughs> <laughs> no, I bought I bought a pin from Matt Cardona. I'll, sh- I'll, I'll shake your dick while I'm saying woo woo woo. woo. <laughs> you blow it. You, blow- <laughs> you get five woos for five dollars. <laughs> yeah, dollar a woo. Uh, no, uh, it was cool though. My uh, my brother's done some collabs with him, so he actually yeah. remembered me. Right. Um, so ask, did. ask how. No, he asked sure, how my I mean, brother yeah, was. Right. I mean, everyone has a brother, Eric. <laughs> Shut the he's fuck up. He's probably like, yeah, well, I remember you has your brother. And they're like, well, you know, he's he's good. And the one person's like, I have a brother. I know. I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm, I am, it's a joke, right? I'm ribbing you. <laughs> You're one of the wrestlers now. <laughs> Eric's like, do you remember my brother? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Andrew. <laughs> Broke Eric. <laughs> Everything's coming coming crumbling down. He goes, he goes, he goes, yeah. Did you send that Venmo yet? <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I didn't get it. I didn't get it on my end. Can I see your <laughs> He goes, he checks the Venmo, he sees you paid him, he's like, Eric I remember you, Eric. Yeah. <laughs> Eric Mark Hamilton. Oh right, your middle name's Mark, right. <laughs> <laughs> you go by Mark, right? <laughs> you go by. <laughs> oh, oh man. so what else? <laughs> <laughs> well, now I don't want to. Well, now well, I'm embarrassed. You gotta get to the coolest part. <laughs> There's like one cool part. Your yeah. flight out. Right, right. So uh, SummerSlam. So, <laughs> so then SummerSlam. So then so SummerSlam. Yeah, yeah that, that happened. Yeah. Uh, no, I did. Uh, I want to just. Send out a few thank yous. Uh, Jay Silva, Andy Picconi, Zach Taylor, and Jeremy Shedlock uh, all met up, nice. hung out. Uh, Andy Picconi, like, I, I never saw the bottom of a beer. No, that's no. good. Yeah. That's nice. good. Like, I'm halfway through. He's like, you want another one? I'm like, y- y- yes. <laughs> do that again for the camera? Slower? No. <laughs> no. I'm not going to do that. Good call. Not you, like, play your do you, you like double, triple pumped a couple times? I'm like the guy in Ricky Stanicki. <laughs> <laughs> we can do it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, God. I'm sure Rito's going to have a field day with that one. Sure. Yeah. Sure. 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 Uh, so, yeah. Uh, SummerSlam was good. Had a, had a good time. Uh, f- you were like, oh, Eric bought two tickets. Yeah. Yeah. You did. So I bought a ticket, good. section 333. It's getting close to the show. So last week, Monday, floor tickets were like two fifty. Right. Then next day, two hundred, and they're just going down, down, down. So I bought a floor ticket on Friday for a hundred bucks. Wow. Yeah. And, and then your I sold, seat up there was how much? I think I paid more. <laughs> I think I paid like one fifty after fees. Wow, that's crazy. So. This is what I said when they first announced Cleveland. I'm like, they're not selling out Cleveland. So So next time we all go on a trip together, can we wait till the last minute to buy our tickets to the show? Fine. But like this is this is WWE thinking that SummerSlam is going to be the yes. same as WrestleMania, and it's yeah, just that's not. true. It's yeah. just not. Yeah. Um, but I did sell my other tickets, so you oh, know. you did. Oh, yeah. good, good, good. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Nice. Um, enjoyed the show. Matches were great. Live. Crowd was hot. 
Um, how so was again, that? How was that Roman pop in person? It was very unexpected. I mean, it was expected, but like we all thought, knew it was happening, right? I thought it was after the match. I didn't think he was gonna oh, like oh. help Cody mid match. Oh, you for know? me, it was so obvious. Like they were both on their back oh. and not moving for like thirty seconds. I'm like, oh, here it comes. Yeah, yeah. Did you see the uh, the video? The guy, he's like filming himself. He's like. Roman, we need you. And then, and then like hits. the music immediately <laughs> hits. Yeah. And he's like, ah! you know, of course. Uh, so anyway, uh, Sunday, took in a Guardians game. Hmm. Saw the city a little bit. Nice. Uh, Monday, get to the airport, uh, go to buy a water. And I look at, you know, who's in line at the register. <laughs> it's Kevin fucking Owens. Holy shit. <laughs> no, I mean, you can. Uh, well, yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure. I mean, for God's sake. You came. I was gonna uh, wait until you, you know, took you can the do photo with him. And yeah. So anyway, uh, yeah, I was like, hey, Kevin, you know, big fan. You mind if I get a quick picture? He's like, yeah, let's go. Yeah. Took a quick selfie. Awesome. That was it. I wasn't shoving like programs in his face or figures or you know. Yeah. I, I feel like people are like more willing to like take a quick selfie. Then sit there and have to like sign shit, you know? Oh yeah, oh, of it's course. It's quick and you're Be- done. And you're and you're being genuine. You're yeah. a fan. You're not looking to you know make money off of it. Correct. Yeah. The so, I mean, what I saw. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's like we're trying to figure out which photo is which because there's one with you and Kevin Owens, but then there's one with you and Hulk Hogan. I think that's the he real leaned in. photo. Uh, yeah. Hold it's on, Eric with Hulk Hogan, brother. Hold on, if I can, if I can quote, there's no Hulk Hogan here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure. 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 Yeah. But very cool to meet Kevin Owens for sure. Yeah, absolutely. What, did uh, he say like? Did he say anything? Yeah, he's like, tell Andrew his impersonation sucks. Yeah, yeah. Right. I was like, wow, it's crazy. That's that's that makes me sad. Uh, yeah. I, I I mean, obviously, if there was more time, I would have like, you got to hear my friend's impression. That's great. <laughs> sure. But you know, you blocked I, him on Twitter. Yeah, you blocked him on Twitter. <laughs> Maybe you could un- block him. Maybe you could, could you come on my podcast? <laughs> yeah, there you go. You know, so. Yeah, that was SummerSlam weekend. It was a lot of fun. Uh, wish you guys could have come, you know, family vacations and whatever the fuck Andrew did. Sure. Well, I'm, I, I spent all my money on seeing the Jets this season. Oh, so yeah. No wrestling friends. for me. <laughs> yeah. yeah I'm going friends. to San Francisco week one. San Francisco. To get my heart broken for the second mm. year in a row, baby. I can't Fuck believe you're doing yeah. that. Well, now you just earned the nickname, the San Francisco treat. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, yeah. But all right, we're not here to talk about the New York Jets uh, horrible season that awaits. We're here to talk about Monday Night Raw. But first, 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 we have to thank a fuck. To, I don't even I can't even count this high. We have so many new patrons this week. It's eight. No, I counted. It's eight. Yeah. So without further ado, thank you to Fritz Worley, Fritz. Anthony Milo, Queen cool. Sheba, mm. uh, Thomas Tolly, X gon' give it to you, huh? uh, Charles Robinson's hairstylist. Nice. That's amazing. I was wondering where he and was. And then a uh, special shout out to these two, uh, Nick Upleys and Robert Lugo, because they both did year so. <laughs> Money up front. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. So that puts us at a total of 934 patrons. Oh, no. <laughs> is that going to be me? Let's is hope. That, no, I'm, I'm putting... Is that oh, gonna, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. I'm starting to sweat a we're, little bit. While, while we shave your head, we're so going to have like the Hell in a Cell music, the... I said this years ago when we were like at 800. I was yeah. like, there's no way we ever get to 1,000. I'm not even sure <laughs> we're at 800. I think it was even a safer bet. I, I think we were at like six something. Like no, if we ever wasn't. get to 1,000, uh, it was It was a couple years ago. We were like right. at eight, maybe late 700s. But yeah, it's we're it's, getting there. It's getting scary. I'm getting a little nervous. Go to patreon.com slash what's wrong with wrestling. In case you're confused, when we get to 1,000, uh, I'm shaving my head and I'm doing a whole podcast of Stone Cold. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, it'll be like that, but but I'm doing it. Uh, yeah, so there's over uh, 700 bonus podcasts. You get the weekly Monday Night War podcast. You get all the pay-per-view recaps. You get the brackets like Worst Promos Part 1, 2, and 3. Wow. So go to patreon.com slash what's wrong with wrestling. Nice. 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 Yeah. yeah. Again, the Monday Night War podcast is so much fun. We're having a blast doing it. 
Can't wait till we get to the better part of the Monday Night Wars. But <laughs> yes, please. It's just it's so bad. It's good right now. Yeah. yeah. Something like that. So, yeah. Patreon.com slash what's wrong with wrestling. Uh, go sign up. Give it a try. All right. Raw opens with Ludwig Kaiser. Go! Yeah, there, nice. there he is. Thank yes. you, Ludwig. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> You're all right? No. No. And it was like, oh, that's why he... I mean, now he's healthy. He was out for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Right. But even if he was like healthy sooner, it's like, well, let's save him to right. introduce Gunther yeah. as the yeah. new world heavyweight champion. I forgot he was gone, honestly. Right. I was like, oh, yeah, he was out. They're talking about Shayna. Gunther yeah, walks out looking like a million bucks. The World Heavyweight Championship on his shoulder. I'm like, that's a fucking champion. That, right? no, that's a champ. Yeah. Yeah. All rise. No. 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 <laughs> Gunther hugs Kaiser, holds up the belt, and Pyro goes off. Like, it's crazy. Like, how you win King of the Ring, and then a few months later, you're the world champion. I know, yeah. right? Wow. Like, it almost makes too much sense. Imagine yeah. that. You deserve it, Chance. Gunther says, if you thought what I did with the Intercontinental Championship was historic, just watch and see what I'm going to do as the World Heavyweight Champion. Two months. From this day forth. (laughs) I mean, it's got to be quick, right? Monday Night Raw and the legacy of this great sport and the World Heavyweight Championship belong to me. But then we hear, I hear voices in my head. It's Randy Orton and it's Wild Card. Randy Orton here to put over another brand new champion. Yeah. I know. Again. Yeah. He's the new main, like, main event, put the new guy over guy. Right. And it's just it's like, like, welcome uh, to the main event. Like, you're like, I'm oh, here to be, put you over. This will be awesome, but yeah, he's losing. Right. Well, Did of it, course he's losing. Yeah. What are you going to book him to beat Gunther? He's a Randy Orton. <laughs> Back and forth. You got to want this title change all the time. You got to make new stars. This is how you do it. You got to beat Randy Orton. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, so the crowd's hot as the Viper slowly walks to the ring. Again, they don't explain how he's here. You know, no wild card explanation. No. They right. explain that uh, A-Town Down, the two GMs, made some sort of deal oh to get God. them on the show as if anyone cared. But with Randy Orton, it's like, who cares? Yeah, we didn't even announce that. Pierce was on social media. And I made a special arrangement with Nick. All- like, who fucking cares? It's A-Town yeah, right. Down. And you do this all the time. You don't have to tell us. They work for the company. He's like, it's the Raw after SummerSlam and anything <laughs> can happen. Yeah, right. I mean, make it make sense. At least yeah. come up with something. Right, you right. can't have the draft and Lazy then constantly writing. break the rules. Yes. Like, we're all happy to see Orton. It's not like we're like, oh, what the fuck is this bullshit? No. Right. We're happy he's on Raw. Sure. But give some sort of explanation. Right, right. right. So Orton gets to the ring. Gunther says, oh, I have to be honest, that caught me off guard. And he gets a little chuckle. Like, Gunther's actually funny. Yeah. You know, like, he makes, uh, he's, he's, he's so good. Right. He's like the perfect heel foreign champion. Yeah. You know? No. Like, Iron Sheik, he couldn't really talk. Right. You know, you go back to, like, foreigner. Still great, though. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Orton says, I would congratulate you, but that's not really my style. But that gold looks mighty fine hanging on. Hanging over your German shoulders. When I look at that title, I can't help but think that I'm the reason why you're carrying that championship in the first place. You got your title shot because you beat me at King of the Ring. But did you really beat me at King of the Ring? Mm. Edge. Edge. (laughs) Uh, My shoulders weren't down flat on the mat, but the decision is final. I respect that, but Triple H knows there needs to be a Gunther Orton sequel. Triple H told the world that there'd be a Gunther Orton part two. That's why I'm here tonight. I'm calling that in. I'm the only man in that locker room that can match you in this ring. Move for move, counter for counter, technician versus technician, smooth versus smoother. And he points at Gunther like, yeah, that was cool. Should have pointed at his dick, I guess. (laughs) Smoother. His balls. Yeah. Uh, Randy says, I think these fans deserve a modern day flair versus steamboat. I know I can fill one of those roles, but can you? You mm. call yourself a living legend. And that's perfect because I made a career out of killing legends. Yeah. And at Bash at Berlin, I'm going to do it again and walk out of Germany, the new world heavyweight champion. Yeah. And Gunther says, uh, not beating you clean at King of the Ring left a little stain on my record. 
So if those voices in your head tell you you could beat me in Berlin, I have to tell you your voices are wrong. Mm. Gunther That's accepts. A good line. Sure, Gunther accepts the match. They shake hands, but then Gunther pulls Orton in close and says, "I want you to know that nothing, absolutely nothing, catches me out of nowhere." And Orton says, "That's good to know. I've heard that before, but it doesn't have to be out of nowhere. I want you to see it coming." Damn, is he I've, kick out I, of I've used that line before? He probably does, huh? He might. Well, what did he do at King of the Ring? I feel like he did, or at least got his foot on the rope. Maybe. You know Orton hit it. Yeah. People, right. Big big guys can kick out of the RKO now. Sure. I guess. Right. I mean, to your point, he could. To your point, Orton could beat him, and, right. then, and then Gunther beats him at the next one. Yeah. I mean, Gunther's going to lose in Berlin. Drew McIntyre, Eric. It, it's kind of overdone because they just did it with Drew, but <laughs> they're always right. doing it. You could do it. I don't. I don't think they'll do it though. Yeah, you know. Yeah. I mean, the, it, this seems like it's like uh, you know, Randy. We don't really have anything for you at SummerSlam. So, uh, how about a title match at Bash in Berlin? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> Not everyone can get on the card. Yeah, it's true. All right, next up we have uh, Sheamus versus Ludwig Kaiser. You know, this is a. Uh, okay. It's been a while, but... Okay. Yep. Uh, they start out with a brawl ringside. Uh, Kaiser faked his ribs being re-injured, but it was just to catch Sheamus off guard. Nice. Kaiser then ran around the ring to do his drop kick. Uh, you know, drop kick Sheamus into the steel steps, and Sheamus barely beat the 10 count. Then Kaiser starts beating Sheamus's Bowery. Ooh. Ooh. But then Sheamus blocked it out a cup after a couple of beats and gave Kaiser a clothesline. Then Sheamus beat Kaiser's Bowery. Oh. Had to teach him a lesson. Teach and then uh, he jumps off the top rope to clothesline Kaiser uh, on the floor. Then yeah. Pete Dunn shows up, tries to hit Sheamus with a shillelagh, <laughs> but Sheamus ducks and hits Dunn with a pump knee. Kaiser hits an enziguri, but Sheamus kicks out. Kaiser goes for his DDT, but Sheamus counters with a pump knee and the brogue kick for the win. Sheamus wins. Yeah. Sheamus. Uh-huh. Way to put over those young guys, Sheamus. Well, I guess because he's having this feud with Pete Dunne. I mean, Kaiser beat Sheamus the last time. Yeah, but... So, yeah. But I guess Sheamus is the one that has the feud. <laughs> Kaiser doesn't really have a feud right now. It's just to set up his match with Pete Dunne, who has still yet to explain why he's mad at Sheamus. But I no. imagine it's going to be something like, you abandoned me. I had to be in a tag team with, with, with. Yeah. yeah. I had to be in a tag That's team right. with Tyler Bate. Fucking horrible. I thought he already kind of said that, though. No. Did he? I think so. I don't No, He did not. It he, was, hasn't, he hasn't spoken a word. Well, unless it was on NXT. Eric, did you watch NXT? You, 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 you fucking knew it. Did he? He did. did just, just say. Yeah, he did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but NXT doesn't count. Yeah, no. It really doesn't. No, I think it was like a backstage thing on Raw. Even Michael Cole said Pete Dunne has yet to explain himself. Oh, well, I he don't explained remember himself that. somewhere. In your dreams? Cause, cause he, did you DM him? Jesus. Because he even talked about, like, you get your name changed or you mm. go by some stupid nickname. Oh. I was... thought that's when he joined Tyler mm. Bate. He did that speech. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Yeah. Uh, no, I think I saw somewhere on the internet, they are like, he should say that Seamus was the one that named him Butch. Yeah. Like, you gave me that stupid Butch name. Right. But I don't know if he actually said it. I don't know. I guess we'll I see. But... Yeah. Next up, Damian Priest storms to the ring. He immediately calls out Finn Balor and says, how do you go from the prince to a backstabbing scumbag to a coward? Priest is horrible on the mic as usual. Yeah. Like trying to do his whole I'm from the streets thing. And mm. Right. It, like, I, it's, it, he sounds like a white guy, like trying to talk gangster. It's very odd because he's not white. It's very weird. And he says, uh, I thought the Judgment Day was family, but now I got a new family. And it's all of you. And he points to the crowd. Oh. And then here's the rest of his promo. I don't have friends. I got family. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. basically. Yep, that's it. And people yeah. even pointing out, like, he he was he dressed like Dominic Toretto. Yeah. The fucking sleeveless black shirt and then the, the cross around his neck. Like, I know. <laughs> like, what are you doing? So Damien Toretto says, Balor, you made <laughs> me feel like, a, like I disappointed my family. family. And you know I can't let that stand. 
When you're suffering, know that I'm the reason for your pain. So get your ass out here and let the beatings begin. Ooh, mm. season's beatings. Um, and his music is still All Rise. I know, yeah. it's weird. All Rise, I guess. Right, yeah. like, you're, you're not special anymore, though, so... No. Balor pops on the big screen and says, I didn't betray you. You betrayed the Judgment Day. We were supposed to have each other's backs. No leaders. But all that changed when you became champion. A year ago, I almost became champion, and this happened. And he holds up a photo of his match against Seth Rollins at last year's Money in the Bank. And I had to look it up. Because, like, I remember something, but I was like, I don't exactly remember what happened there. Yeah. But, like, in his match with Seth Rollins, Priest teased cashing in as Balor set up for the coup de grace. Oh, and that yeah. distracted Balor and cost him the match. That's right. So, like, Balor's justified there. You yeah. Know, like, why did you do that? Yeah. He says, last night you told me, or that night you told me to man up, so I waited a year, and I manned up, and I screwed you, and I screwed your family. I'm not going to fight you, but JD will. I'm going to wait until you feel safe and almost forgotten about me. And then when your back is turned, I'll be there to stab you in the back, and it won't be just me. And then the camera backs up, and we see Carlito, JD, Dominic, and the newest member of the Judgment Day, Liv Morgan. Judgment Day Wolfpack. Except they're not cool enough to no. be oh, the Wolfpack. Oh, God, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was kind of hoping our truth may pop up, too. Like, hey, I'm back. <laughs> That would have been funny. Yeah. No, he's going to be with uh, Priest and Rhea. Oh, Jesus. So, yeah, Priest storms to the back. Uh, we'll get, you know, more of that later. Next up, we have Lyra Valkyria versus Shayna Baszler. Yeah. Oh, no. We got Sony Deville and Zoe Stark ringside. No pussy backup for Lyra this week as no. they've been taken out by the bad girls. Oh, right. No. Bad girls beat up that pussy. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, during the match, Michael Cole tells us that Shayna cooks her own soups. Shut up, Michael! So, <laughs> no. Like, a, a fun fact. That's not fun. Yeah. He's really... It's, He's it's like, not fun. We're doing the Monday Night War, and again, like, Vince told us that uh, Aja Kong is the spokesperson for orange juice in Japan. It's like, this is... I, I get it now. Right, I He's remember that. Vince McMahon. Like, not a brand of orange juice, just... Yeah. Just orange, orange just juice. Just orange juice. All of the orange juice. Yes. Uh, just, you know, give some fun factoids that maybe people can relate to. Like, oh, I also make my own soups. I'm a fan of Shayna Baszler now. I also yes. sometimes have orange juice. Yes, Relatable. exactly. I, I like also soup. like to party. <laughs> I also like to party. Zoe hops on the apron, but Lyra kicks her. And then Lyra hits Shayna with the night wing and goes for the pin. But Zoe and Sonya break up the pin for the DQ. All three women stomp Lyra, but damage control runs out for the save. Dakota Kai kicks her ex out of the ring, hmm. and the bad girls retreat. Uh, later in the show, Dakota Kai was supposed to face Sonya Deville, but the bad girls jumped damage control and attacked uh, Dakota's leg. Her stupid leg. Yeah. Yeah. So Io Sky took Dakota's place. Lots of interference. Uh, so Io hits Sonya and Shayna with a moonsault. From the top rope to the floor, while Kyrie also jumped off the top rope, uh, off the ring post to hit Zoe with an insane elbow, and then Io hit over the moon salt for the win. So Sony Deville's new faction, zero and two this week. Oh yes, boy. can't get a win. Oh no, boy. and it's like to be fair, damage control is better. Yeah. You have Io, yeah. you have Kyrie, you have Dakota. All of them are better than Shayna, Zoe, and Sonya. <laughs> so at least they're doing that right. Right. Uh, next up, we have an in-ring promo from CM Punk. Starts it off congratulating a UFC fighter that won a belt, and he says he's happy to be back in Baltimore. Says, you might wonder why I'm happy. For me, SummerSlam wasn't a guarantee. I came back last year, got injured in the Royal Rumble, but then I recovered, so I'm happy because I'm back. My summer of hate didn't start the way I hoped, but it's still summer. Round two, I want Drew McIntyre because he said he was going to put me in the ground, but I'm still standing. There's still air in my lungs. There's still blood in my veins, but burn it down! And he's like, like son, son of, of a bitch! bitch. Yeah. <laughs> so Seth freaking Rollins walks out slowly, takes off his jacket and says, you're in a good mood. 
So am I, because after 10 long years, it's finally time for me to put you in the dirt. You're going to let me in the ring? You want to get your ass kicked out here? Punk says, I'm not the one who dressed like a cowboy today, but I'll be your huckleberry. Let's go. Nice. So Seth gets in the ring. Did he do that just because of the hangman page thing? We're, we're past that. That was so long ago. Yeah. I think he was but he was like, Seth. he was wearing something that hangman page would wear. That's for sure. Right. But uh, Seth gets in the ring, but Drew appears from the crowd with a mic. He says, tonight's a celebration. Everyone's talking about Drew McIntyre beating CM Punk and Seth Rollins counting the one, two, three. And then he tells Punk, on Saturday, you prove that you still got it, but you're no longer the best in the world. I am. And Punk wouldn't take his eyes off Seth. So Drew said, guess who's still in my corner, punk? And he shows the bracelet on his wrist. Your stupid dog. <laughs> it was like, your yeah. stupid looking dog, Larry. And your lovely lo uh, wife, AJ. Mm -hmm. and punk rolls out of the ring to go after Drew. But Drew runs away. Uh, Seth turns around and he is run over by Big Bronson Reed. Oh, no. Why? He's got a feud with this guy. Reed no. bitched to Adam Pierce about not having a match earlier in the show, so he said he has to create his own path. Yes. Okay. So Reed gave Seth a couple set times and then knocks him out with the tsunami. Refs and officials run out, but Reed gives Seth another tsunami. And then another tsunami and a tsunami and a tsunami. This was the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Six to eight grown men couldn't stop a midget from jumping off the top ropes. They were acting like it was the fucking boulder in Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yeah. And they were all Indiana Jones. What are they doing? They're all just going, no, 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 no. Oh, he's coming. Ah, they run away like they're ants. They didn't want to get soaked. What the no. fuck is going on? Joe, they were in the splash zone. What is going on? <laughs> just fucking go like this in his face. He'll swing at you like a little kid. Yeah, he's small, but he's what are like they doing? 400 pounds. He's not. Not even close. Like 300. <sighs> it's so stupid. Yeah. I mean, finally... So, so it gets worse, because then Cole yells, This guy's out of control! Someone call the National Guard! Please, please, please. Shut up, Michael! Thank you. Seth starts coughing up blood. Reed Co goes... Coughing up blood. Yeah, sure. Well, yeah. what? I mean, it's a fake show, Eric. This well, was like I know, when, but he was like... He was milky. He was... <laughs> this is like yeah. when uh, pre-WrestleMania, when Hogan got splashed like 10 times by King Kong Bundy, he starts coughing up blood. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, Reed goes to the top rope again. So they finally roll Seth to the other side of the ring. They finally think of that. Yeah. After, like, number six. Yeah. yeah. It's so stupid. They're like, he can't get more than two feet out. So. Here comes the midget! So, yeah, I guess this is just to take uh, Seth away from Punk. Sure. Because you're going to have to keep coming up with excuses if you're saving that for Mania. But bash at Berlin against him? Against yeah. Reed? Sure. Does Seth win that? Of course. I hope so. Of of course. Don't you of course me. Of course he is, Joe. Oh. There's no shot in hell. <laughs> I don't like how confident <laughs> you, you know, are. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Thor in Endgame? Yeah. Seth wins. Yeah. Of right? course. <laughs> of course. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Okay. No, I mean, the, the, Reed's never going to win anything. Come on. Okay. <laughs> He's like their <laughs> Vader. You know, Vader never won anything in WWE. Nothing. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> right. Uh, except Vader was, you know, good. He was talented. Uh, so backstage, uh, Punk asks Pierce, where's McIntyre? But Pierce says, I personally walked him out of the building. And then Punk's like, I just want to talk to him. And Pierce is like, I'm sure you do. But he's gone. I thought that was really funny. Did you see what Punk did, though? Yeah. He goes, I just want to... Talk to him like his hands like right. choking. Well, and he had a chair. I was dying. And then he's like, "No, no, no! I just want to, you know, I just want to, just want to sit talk down and to talk to him." Oh, it was he's great. Like, yeah, sure you do, but he's gone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, next up, uh, but we talked about this on the SummerSlam uh, podcast. Uh, you know, for those who showed up. Uh, but no, uh, all jokes aside. Um, like, yeah, they can't do Punk and Drew at Bash at Berlin. It's no. too soon to do it. Yeah, again. it is. You have to wait a while. Yeah. So what's happening? Bad blood. But I'm saying like they just skip a pay per view. This this the main. Yeah, I don't someone, know. I feel like someone's getting suspended. Someone might get suspended or injured. Hmm. When is uh, the next? When is Berlin? August 31st. 
this month. Four weeks? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. They could, but you would think, again, you would think they would just announce that. Sure. But it, for sure, you know, it's got they're going to be hell in a cell for bad blood. Yeah. Like, that's 100% what it has but to be. But doesn't Punk have to win one before you go to the cell to make it the third one? Are they going to win Punk in a cell? Sure. Yeah, of course. Yeah. If they don't have to, he doesn't have to get thrown off, Eric. Well, <laughs> the Mick Folium. Literally happened twice in the history of Hell in a Cell matches. Rikishi doesn't count. He only went halfway. And he right. landed on hay. He landed on hay or whatever. Well, three times if you count Chains voluntarily jumping off. That's of right. Uh, he did yeah. twice, yeah. For the love of mankind. Yep. Uh, next up, we have AOP versus The New Day. Or, you know, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. What the fuck is this? I mean, they always cosplay as different. Oh, it looks so dumb. Yeah, this was... It looks like, like uh, something you'd buy at, like... Party City for your four-year-old. Yeah. That This was my costume when I was like five. Right. right. <laughs> Woods gave uh, Kofi's Donatello action figure to a kid. Uh, during the match, Kofi did the trust fall on Akam, but Akam didn't catch him, so that was a rough landing. Yeah. From the top rope to the floor. Out. Akam missed him. Again, <sighs> AOP, they were, never, uh, they were never great at this. Yeah. You know? Right. Uh, Woods went to the top rope and Scarlet distracted the ref, gave her, you know, let her, let him motorboat, motorboat him and motorboat her. her yes. Uh, while carrying cross. Sorry. I was imagining me motorboating, motorboating. Uh, yeah. So she distracts the ref while carrying cross, pushed him off the top rope. Uh, but then uh, Odyssey Jones walks out and beats up carrying cross. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? I mean, is that one for every hundred days? Because you're one short. Oh yeah. Who are you? It's been four hundred days since we've seen Odyssey Jones. Four hundred and eleven. Is he the current uh, North American champion? No. No. Oh, who's that? Keith Lee. Eric, that's cute. Who's the North American champion? Oh, currently? Yeah. Oh, I I thought you were getting uh, him confused. Oh. The no, that's uh, Obafemi or something. Oba wow. Femi. This is yeah. it's not Odyssey Jones. This is coming off racist. <laughs> no, Odyssey Jones has been drafted, I think, the last two drafts. Yes. And just and, never shows up. And now never he's used. finally here. Yes. Yeah. Woods uh then beats Razar with a roll up. It's his finisher. So stop, stop saying it's a roll up. It's the finisher. They shouldn't name yes. it. Yes. The Woodsies. Well, it's, it's no, it's, no, it's the backwoods. Back right, yeah. that's right. They did rain it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Odyssey Jones gets the ring, picks up Akam and Razor to give them a sidewalk slam in each arm. That was kind of cool. Uh, that was kind of impressive, actually. Cross gets to the ring, but Jones uh, lays him out, too. And then backstage, Kofi tells Woods that he spent time with Jones while he was rehabbing. In fact, he even said me and him hooked up while I was rehabbing. Oh. Um, so that was interesting. All right. And then Jones says, yeah, Kofi told me y'all needed help with the final testament, and Xavier didn't seem uh, as thrilled as Kofi yes. about all this. They're really slow playing this. Yeah. yeah. Big time, but I right. guess this will be it. I think in the next two weeks, maybe three, something's got months. Do you still get my how, how long before Odyssey Jones is just called Big O? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Or just yeah. Odyssey. No, like Big E. Big e. Oh, Big e. right. He's going to be Big O. So Woods but wasn't happy. He wasn't happy. Sure. But then Otis, Tazawa, and Maxine walk up. And, it's and Tazawa joke. does the dumbest dance ever. And then everyone does the dumbest dance ever. <laughs> At least they didn't say that's nasty. No, they, they did. did. No, did? they did. Oh, I missed it. Tazawa said it. Oh, he did? Yes. Oh, shit. I probably went, nope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <laughs> oh, uh -huh. the old sound. There's the callback. <laughs> That's what your nasty. remote does? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that was fucking terrible. Yeah. And it doesn't get much better because we've got Awesome Truth versus A-Town Down Under. Whoa! Whoa! Down under. This Down is because under. Miz, Truth, and Jelly Roll beat up Theory and Waller at SummerSlam. Yeah. Uh, Truth picks up Waller for an AA, but he knocks Miz out of the ring in the process, and Theory gets the win by hitting Truth with a down, down. Next up, uh, Kathy Kelly interviewed. There's nothing to say there. Yeah, no. Kathy Kelly interviews Braun Breaker. She asks him if he's prepared for all the superstars are going to come after him now that he's the Intercontinental Champion. Breaker says, I don't have a target on my back. I'm the hunter. I'm coming for everyone. 
I wasn't uh, this. I wasn't born for this championship. This championship was born for me. That makes and no then sense. he shows the name on the side plates, and he says, "There isn't a man who can take my name off the title." I mean, you were beat in NXT as champ, so he lost to Sammy the first match <laughs> they've had. I know. Yeah, but I mean, I, he all, but to Eric's point, he did lose to Dolph Ziggler, and no one loses to Dolph Ziggler. Berlin. No one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Although Dolph is the TNA champ now, right? Or no? Isn't he? Yes. Yeah, he just won it, right? Yeah. Because didn't everyone think it was going to be Joe Hendry and then Dolph won it? Is Dolph a face or heel in TNA? He's a face. He's a face? Yeah. I guess that makes sense. They're just excited. They're just happy he's there. Happy he's there. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take any version of him. All right. I want to be a face. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, we have Janie McDonough versus Damian Priest with Carlito ringside. Uh, they were trading lots of punches, but then Priest just kicked JD out of the ring. Uh, JD had a nice suicide dive. Priest went for the South of Heaven choke slam, but JD backflipped to avoid it, and that that was cool. Yeah, as Carlito would say. JD hit a moon salt, but Priest kicked out. Uh, Priest made a big comeback. The fans were loving it. He sets up for the South of Heaven choke slam, but then Balor jumps him from behind for the DQ. Yeah, that was fast. Yeah, right. I'm gonna wait. A long time. Right. 30 minutes. <laughs> 30 minutes. If I priest. was a pizza, I'd be free. Yeah. Uh, so Dominic Mysterio. <laughs> pizza? Yeah, there yeah. you go. Dominic Mysterio comes out to jump Priest as Liv Morgan cheers them on. Uh, priest fights back. He throws JD, Dom, and Carlito out of the ring. And he was about to give Balor the razor's edge, but Liv saved him. Mm. And then Dom attacked Priest from behind and started punching him. But then, this is my brutality! Yep. Rhea Ripley runs out. Dom and Liv both start running away, but Ripley catches Liv and whips her into the ring post. She was about to put Liv through the announce table with a razor's edge. Yes. Awesome. But Dominic pulled Liv down, and they ran away. And then back in the ring, Ripley gave JD a headbutt, and Priest laid him out with the South of Heaven chokeslam, and... JD sold the fuck out of it. He really did. And then Ripley and Priest hug each other because they are now family. Family. Yeah. yeah. So I, I smell a mixed tag match. Oh, for sure. Well, come on. Yeah. This will be Bash at Berlin. Yeah. Oh, man. I mean, honestly, I thought it was going to be because, you know, they've been teasing like the Jay Uso thing with yeah. Rhea. I thought it was going to be Jay and Rhea versus Liv and Dom. Oh. But, I mean, I guess I'm already going with Priest. I mean, they're going to squash him, right? Right. It's crazy how over Priest is, especially when he's so awful on the mic. But, like, the South of Heaven chokeslam, he's got a great move. Yep. You know? It's just like Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin is mostly awful on the mic, but his finisher's great. Right. You know? Priest has a great finisher. Mm Mm-hmm. Backstage, Sami Zayn's feeling down, but Ela Dragunov tells him you were a true Intercontinental Champion. You inspire people. Don't forget that. Uh, then Jey Uso walks up. Sami's still feeling down, but he makes Sami feel better by saying yeet like five times. Oh, okay. He's like, oh, I don't feel good. Yeet! Yeet! Oh, okay, yeet. I feel worse. <laughs> I know then, I did. Uh, right. Jay says, you know you're going to get that rematch and become the champ again, and Sammy perks up and says, yeah, I got that rematch next week. And Jay says, after no. that, you and I are going to handle business with the Judgment Day, and you're going to be a double champ. Yeah. Yeah, no to both. So Jay's dream, main event Jay Uso's dream, yes. Yes. is to be a tag team champion for the fifth billionth time. Right. Yes. Five billionth time. Yeah. Yes. I think it is five, 400 billionth. So Sammy versus Breaker. <laughs> Next week for the IC title, two out of three falls. Nice. So there you go. So Sammy will win the first one and lose the next two. Yeah. Anyone? No. Else? No? No. I think Breaker just squashes him. One and two. Wow. What's the point of a two out of three then? Just to show how awesome he is. Mm-hmm. He essentially squashed him in SummerSlam. Yeah. Beat him in under six minutes. A f- is that a f- worth a $5 bet? No. <laughs> 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 I'll bet Sammy wins one match. Yeah, you want to say none for one dollar? You don't even you you gotta break that here. Give me that five then. Okay. You want to make change already? All right, three, four, five. All right, here all we right. go. This will make it easier and to count all my, my money. One, two, three, four, five. My fee. There you go. <laughs> Damn it. And then dollar bet. <laughs> no, I, I think Sammy will win it. Yeah. 
my He'll fee. win a fall. Why right. did we just do all this? I don't know. So I could get a 20% fee. Damn it. I lost and I didn't even lose. Eric, <laughs> you want to bet that he that he doesn't get a fall? Let's do it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, dollar bet. <laughs> uh, next up, we have... Uh, you want to win bets, punk? You stick with me. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I've lost everything. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, we have Chad Gable and the Creed Brothers versus the Wyatt Six. Mm. Uh, they played a cool video package earlier in the show that showed clips of the original Wyatt family and then the new one, like going back and forth. Yep. Uh, also backstage before the match, Maxine asks Ivy Nile, like, hey, what's up with the Creed Brothers? They, they keep beating up Otis and Tazawa. Yeah, no fucking shit. But then Chad Gable walks up and tells Ivy, don't talk to that whore. Yeah. <laughs> he tells Maxine, you can keep the name Alpha Academy because I got a new team now. And then later, Gable cuts a brief backstage promo before the match, revealing his new group's name, American Made. American Males. American Males. American Made. American Made. American Made. Yep. So, yeah. The Wyatts do their cool entrance. Uh, Eric Rowan, Dexter Loomis, and Joe Gacy uh, rush the ring to brawl with Gable and the Creed Brothers. Nikki Cross sits on the floor, and Uncle Howdy sits on Bray's old rocking chair. Mm. I promised myself I wasn't going to cry. <laughs> Who's cutting all the onions in here? Me. Every week they do something. They do something new. Yeah. You know. Right. One week he does Sister Abigail. Then he poses like his brother, and then now he's sitting on his chair. It's so good. Yeah. Uh, this match was really good. Gacy was whipped into the corner and he hung himself upside down on the turnbuckle, kind of looking like Bray when he would do the crab walk. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. Uh, then Rowan powerbombed Loomis out of the ring onto all three guys of American Maid. Then Gacy flipped into the ring from the apron, but Gable caught him and turned it into a suplex. Uh, then Gacy made the hot tag to Rowan and he cleaned house and Rowan looked like he hadn't missed a beat. Yeah. Like, but you know what I mean? You wouldn't think that someone that's just kind of been in the indies for the last few years, you know? Uh, Rowan also paid homage to Luke Harper or Brody Lee by yelling, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, then Loomis jumped off the top rope to take out the Creed brothers outside the ring. Gable gave Rowan a German suplex pin, but Rowan kicked out. Gable tried to wake up the Creeds, but Gacy and Loomis popped up from the floor to scare him. Uh, the Creeds did attack them, but Gacy and Loomis slammed them on the announce table. And then uh, Rowan grabbed Gable by the face and gave him a palm slam. Like, something, uh, something like that. Like an iron claw right. slam. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it, it worked. It was good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then Gacy uh, powerbombed Loomis on Gable, and Loomis hit Gable with a splash off the top rope for the win. And Uncle Howdy couldn't be happier. Yeah. And the Wyatt Six pose in the ring to end the show. Good. At least they ended with the Wyatt Six this yeah. time. Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Hard to top it. No, it's a great debut for them. Like, in-ring debut. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For they sure. beat up a little bit, but most of the time it was like, oh, you hit me, I'm laughing. Yeah. It was, it was fun. Definitely a good way to end the show. Yeah. So, there you go. Uh, let's give some awards. Who'd you have for worst dressed? Uh, I had uh, Dirty Dom with the cowboy hat, the mustache. Oh, that looked dumb. Uh -huh. yeah. sure, sure. I had New Day's Ninja Turtles. That's good. I had Goro. Sorry, Damien Priest. Uh, oh. Like he looked like he looks like Goro without the arms. Yeah, I see. Like that. he has Goro's hair. Yeah. He had this. He wore his big trench coat. I think. Like, but it's, he just looks. Yeah. It's fair. Weird. Uh, best dressed. Uh, Rhea Ripley. Mm, I went live. I had it one. was it was very close. Liv, Liv had the bottom part. Rhea had the top part. <laughs> right. So I, I'm more about the bottom. So I got live. I bet you're a bottom. Bust yeah. my nuts. This guy just met Liv, and he's like Rhea Ripley. <laughs> Is this because Rhea winked at me, and you're trying to get back into her good graces or I something? You fuck. Worst acting. Worst acting was Michael Cole. <sighs> he's bad. He's pretty bad. But I'd... Damien Priest hit. Michael Damian Cole for during me. that whole like tsunami palooza. <laughs> All right. I just put our truth. Anytime he's on the show, it's hard for me to watch it. Sure. Yeah. Best acting. CM Punk. CM Punk. CM Punk. Worst comment. Call the National Guard. Absolutely. Yeah. Sweep it. Yeah. Best comment. Uh, Punk said, 
you're kind of dressed like a cowboy, so I'll be your huckleberry. Right. It's a sad. really good line. I had that. I just want to talk to him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I drew with your stupid dog and lovely wife. Yep. Fun little fact, uh, the AEW marks on Twitter were claiming that match was horrible. And they're like, oh, it's about a bracelet. How fucking stupid is that? So I hit them back with, of course, AEW marks don't understand the significance of a bracelet because they don't have any girlfriends or wives to defend. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Something else you put, like the story thing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was like <laughs> some stupid Facebook thing, like AEW memes or something. Like, oh, oh really? another, like, fucking E-mark. Right. That's that's the best. Yeah. Like, oh, look, it's a Fed mark over here. Fucking Triple H lover. A like, Fed. Yeah. Fuck uh, where are we? Worst match. Uh, Truth in A-Town. Yes. And Miz. I, I, Don't forget Miz is in that match. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. And then <laughs> Super Slow. Oh, I meant to say Awesome Truth. Yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing but awesome. Yeah. The true. fans even did a This Is Awesome chant to start that match what because they? they're Awesome Truth. What are they doing? Yeah. yeah, super slow mo. Lyra, uh, Shayna. I had EO versus Deville. Oh, oh yeah, it was Lyra, Shayna for me. All right. Yeah. Best match? Six versus American Maid. Yes. Yeah. Sweep it. Worst move? I had spitting up blood. I, I'm I just, just trying to sell it. I know, but I don't. Like, Tazawa dancing. It was like, it was more spit than blood, it seemed like. It, no, no, I had six splashes, whatever it was, and those guys couldn't tsunamis. stop it. I Joe it doesn't like getting soaked. That was the dumbest thing. You couldn't stop this one little guy. Could have sworn you were a guy who loved <laughs> so getting stupid. soaked. Yeah. Well. No, yeah, Tazawa, Tazawa dancing for me. Okay. Uh, best move? Uh, Odyssey Jones carrying both AOP. That was cool. That's sure. cool. Yeah. I had the JD backflip. Yeah. Right. The counter, uh, the south of heaven. That's yep. what I had. Yep. Worst moment. Dan I got Tazawa dancing. Dance party. I'm God sorry. Damn. I just, the, the Bronson Reed thing upset me. I just don't understand it. Look at this Seth Mark over here. Mm-hmm. You don't fuck over Seth like that. No. Make was, him look so weak. No. It was so it. overkill. It's if overkill. you have to do it five or six times, then yeah. is it really that bad? It is not. Like, like the stomp. Yeah. Well, yeah, that was eleven, right? Yeah. He he, he curb stomped Bray Wyatt eleven times. It's yeah. still lost. Yeah, no. Like you want to do two tsunamis? Fine. The go back for one more, but like, it was like five or six. Five or six. It yeah. Was insane. Best moment? Uh, Drew Punk and Seth. Yeah. yeah that's, always. Yeah. Every week. Every week. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. <laughs> All right. Time for breaking news. So last week, a photo. After the rumors that he was thinking about joining AEW, a photo of Shane McMahon meeting with Tony Khan leaked on the internet. Everyone's wondering who the leak is. Thanks, guys. Yeah, we know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I like how shocked Tony looks in the photo. Like, Ugh, oh, you know that picture. was a fake photo. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, it's like they're posing for it. Like, all right, Tony Khan looks surprised. Like. Oh, oh my God. Like as if someone took the photo and then uploaded it. Like, what are you doing, Step McMahon? Right. <laughs> what are you doing, Step Shane? Do we know anything like, official yet about that? So Shane released a statement through Bully Ray that Bully Ray read on his radio show. What? Uh, and it was just Shane saying like, yeah, I was introduced to, to uh, Tony through a mutual friend and People are saying it was Mercedes Monet, Sasha Banks, because remember, like a couple weeks prior, he saw Sasha at the airport. Yeah. And they also met at, at the airport in Dallas. And he was like, yeah, we talked about, you know, uh, we talked about our love for the business. And I congratulated him on five years of AEW. And I'm looking forward to seeing what he does next. So he, did, he didn't say anything like, oh, I'm thinking about joining or anything like that. But, right. you know, yep. we'll see. I mean... What, what does Shane do if he goes to AEW? I mean, I'm sure they're looking for investors. <laughs> you know. They've owned it all along. I've said it from the beginning. This kind of proves it. This proves it. Give me a break. <laughs> Fuck. The Jesse Ventura segment was last week. Oh, right. According to Dave Meltzer, Shane tried to go back to WWE recently, but they wouldn't have him. Why? Maybe Steph, maybe Steph and Triple H hate him. Why, though? We don't know why. Yeah. So I mean, obviously, it was like succession. They've been, you know, back then they were fighting for power. Right. Yeah. And Triple H True. and Steph won. You think he had stock like, the whole time? Yeah. 
So when like he got paid off when they got bought, yeah, and now he's out. Probably no more stock in TKO. Unless it I don't know, it. honestly. I, I don't know. I know he had a bunch, but, you know. He's obviously rich. He obviously doesn't need a paycheck. But, like, if he goes to AEW, he's going to wrestle? He's going to be their GM? Probably their GM. And also yeah. help them with the writing and shit. Yeah. Help On them? and off screen. You saw that rumble he booked two years ago. It was, like, the worst rumble ever. Right. Who was the final four again? Him? Him? Bad Bunny? Bad Bunny? Him? <laughs> Just stop right there. Him? A like, as much as we man. love Shane... He should not be in the final four of the Rumble. No. And neither should Bad Bunny. Oh, my God. That whole thing was a train wreck. Yeah. Like, they, they were talking about how, like, the wrong music was being played, you know? And, like, oh, uh, no, like, Shane's music hit, and it was supposed to be Orton. And then Orton told Shane, I'm not coming out to Here Comes the Money, so you better go out there. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, <clears throat> we'll see what this leads to. It would be interesting if he does go. Because it would be, I guess, you know, like a fuck you to WWE, but yeah, it's not going to change anything. It doesn't matter so. who goes to AEW the at this ship point. Already holds. Everyone too knows much water. the show sucks. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, also, this is so exciting. I don't know if you guys saw this, but the Hollywood Reporter has confirmed that Ben Affleck and Matt Damon's production company is producing a film about Hulk Hogan's sex tape legal battle battle with Gawker Media. That's insane. Affleck and Damon uh, bought the screenplay for Killing Gawker from writer Charles Randolph, who won an Oscar in 2015 for The Big Short. Wow. Uh, also, Goodwill Hunting director Gus Van Sant is uh, in talks to direct. But wow. the biggest part of this story. Oh, no. Ben Who? Affleck. No. Is playing. No. Hulk Hogan, brother. <laughs> what? That's no not that way. part's not confirmed, but they're saying like that's what Ben Affleck wants to do. He wants to play Hulk Hogan. <laughs> How amazing was this? The perfect film doesn't exist. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Like How amazing will this be? I mean, how is there a whole movie for just I know! Like, does it start with him like, hey, you gonna fuck your wife, brother? <laughs> yeah. yeah, all right, I'm gonna say some crazy shit. You got the camera on? I oh imagine it'll be like social network where it's, yeah. it's it's all focused on the trial but they keep doing flashbacks you know yeah but like how amazing is that gonna be what are you doing i hope <laughs> i no, hope it is awesome. yeah god ben affleck as hulk hogan matt damon is apparently um playing is gonna play the guy that helped uh fund Bubba hogan's the love sponge? <laughs> yeah. oh. like the guy that helped fund hogan's legal battle for all this and helped fund it yeah he couldn't afford his own legal I battle? Not. No. And you couldn't find an attorney that's like, I'll take this on, you know, like a percentage of what um, we win. I don't know. Because Hogan won, right? He won. Yeah. Like 30-something million. But I don't know if they paid. It's funny. Every time, you know, someone sues and it's like, oh, you won the court case. You owe them money. And they're like, cool, can't pay it. And no one's ever, no one ever gets paid. <clears throat> I don't know about ever. But they can always be, appeal it. There's like a lot of stuff that can draw it out. But did they make a lot of money from it? Or not really? Um, I'm sure they did. Yeah. You know? Right. I mean, you have the steel book. So. I have the only one. <laughs> <laughs> I had it special made. Eric had a pop. Has a pop of Hogan fucking Bubba the Love Sponge's <laughs> wife. Eric's like, I gotta collect them all. What am I gonna do? It comes with a camera in the corner. I don't own any Hogan Pops. Yeah. It comes it. with like an audio button, but Eric has He's been too afraid to press it since he bought it. <laughs> I'm going to come, dude. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, I can't wait for this. I hope it gets made. Yeah. I mean, this is what Ben Affleck and, and Matt Damon do now. They they do uh, historical movies. <laughs> this, is my, this is my passion project. They just did the Nike The Nike thing. one was good. Yeah, I still need to watch it. Yeah. Ever since I saw Hogan's pale wiener. <laughs> I was like, I gotta make a movie. We gotta do that one day. We gotta finally do the watch along for the sex tape. We gotta do it. We gotta do it. All right. For sure. sure. How many times do you see Hogan <sighs> ass? No. Too many times. No. Too many. <clears throat> oh, brother. Uh, all right, yeah. So you got any news? <laughs> I do. Uh, so I didn't bring bring this part up on the Mark Report, you yeah, know, just because right. I wanted to the talk Mark about it during news. Yeah. So uh, one of the things I did, I went to WrestleCon. Um, Saturday morning, they had a 
the Superstar Saturday Breakfast. Oh, right. The yes. Disney World thing that you did. Yes. Go ahead. All right. So I get in there. There's six tables set up. One of the tables has Sergeant Slaughter. Yeah. Uh, the Another table has uh, Bottom Right. Oh, good. Who are you? Another table has Bottom Right. Oh, sure. Who are you? Um, there's an empty table where no one's sitting. Um, and then I see oh, Elias sitting at a table. Don't you mean Elias? Elijah. Oh, Elijah. Sorry. Elijah. Elias. So there's an empty spot there. So I just I sat there, got my breakfast, yeah. so I sat down. Um, and then at one table, there was JBL, basically the APA, yeah. Scott Steiner, Cameron Grimes. Uh, that, that, yeah, he fits in with them. Right. So it was all superstars. <laughs> yeah. And Cameron Grimes. Yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> but they left no room for fans to sit. Well, of course. Smart. No, but that's the entire, what the thing is supposed to be. I get it. Yeah. I was supposed to share waffles with Sergeant Slaughter. <laughs> no, he, he was sitting with fans. Anyway, so. Mm. How much did you pay for that? I think like 50 bucks. Did you have any waffles? I had waffles. Oh, good. And I did cut them. And did each re- wrestler come on it as per the request? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. $50. God damn it. Another 50 if you want, come. <laughs> Let- let people enjoy things. JBL came on it. Sergeant Slaughter came on oh, it. He ripped me. He ripped me good. Cameron Grimes is like, you want me to come on it? Eric's like, sure. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I was talking Who to... Who wants to come with a lion? <laughs> hey, how much is it? How much is it to come with a lion? How much you got? I'm like four to... Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> can, you, can you follow me on TikTok? Can you send, send me five roses on my TikTok live and I'll come with you? <laughs> you do it and you hear right R- back like, Hey! You promised some roses to me! <laughs> I hate you guys. Right back, they're like, they give right back a menu. He's like, how many times have I told you I can't read? <laughs> He's like, who makes my plate? Because I want <laughs> eggs. <laughs> and sausage. <laughs> Hand this to me like I'm right back and you're the waiter. Oh, here The you breakfast are, menu. Is that the menu? Yes. Hey, will you hold it up right <laughs> there? Yeah. Okay. I will have eggs, <laughs> sausage, <laughs> and bacon. Very good, sir. Well done. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Ryback jokes. <sighs> He's the worst. Okay. So. Go on, yeah. Eric. Okay, All so. right. So I, you know, we, we, we try to keep, we've interviewed a handful of people before. So, you know, I try to make real questions, not like, oh, so what's this person like in real life? How springy is the wing? What's your favorite match? How yes. big is the big show's cock? <laughs> you know, right. typical question. Right. Yeah. So one of the things I wanted to pick his brain about was... Um, who, who? Who? Which one? Oh, Elias. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, the Seattle promo with Kevin oh, Owens. Right, sure. You know, I asked him, you know, what's your method when you write these songs? He's like, honestly, I get there. I talk to security guards. I talk to food vendors. I just ask them a few things about the city. And uh, he said uh, that one, uh, a security guard told him, bring up the basketball team. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Okay, that's cool. And I was like, D- you know, did did Kevin have any input? He's like, no, Kevin was just like, whatever you, whatever you do, whatever you want, I'll, though. I'll play off of it. Yeah. yeah. And so, uh, you know, he's talking, he was like, it's supposed to be a four minute segment. Crowd booed us for eight minutes. Yeah. We're going to the back. I'm like, fuck, we're done. He gets back there. Vince and Paul Heyman are both standing and cheering and mm. give, applauding him. And Paul Heyman said, that is what a main event heel looks like. And then they did nothing with him. And the then they did nothing with him. What did he say about that? About how they didn't do any, they didn't capitalize on it at all. I mean, you know, I, wasn't, I didn't want to pry that. You would think he would say that maybe. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> right. Um, so no, it, it was it was cool getting to pick his brain a little bit. I asked him about everyone talks about Dusty's promo class. Mm. So you know, I asked him about that, and he's like, you know, it's absolutely terrifying the first couple of times, right? Because 
you're having to cut a promo to Dusty Rhodes. But what's so great about him is he listens and he's like, wait, 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 what you just said, expand on that. Yeah. And then he finds your your character, he finds your groove, he really helps you. So yeah. that was pretty cool. Um and then uh a little after it started, they wheeled in um Lex Luger. Because oh, he's he's in a wheelchair, you know. But he was super nice. He went to each table and hung out. He was ours was the last table, so we hung out at ours a little bit longer. But um he he d- he told her really is he coherent, fun- huh? He's coherent. Yeah, he's oh. coherent. He just his body. You yeah. Know. Uh, he told a really funny story about um, killing Miss Elizabeth. Hilarious. <sighs> what day is it? It's Saturday. What? It's Saturday, Mister Luger. Saturday. <laughs> Did you super get that? Brawl? Did you get that? Imagine yes. if his brain yes. is just he relives Super Brawl Saturday every day. <laughs> no, he relives that promo. His worst memory. Sure, it's too tight. Yeah. <laughs> the, door's, yeah. the door's locked. So good. It's funny story. <laughs> All right. So uh he's he was talking about, you know, WCW got bought out by WWE. They're buying out contracts. And he's having his his management team go after, you know, WWE be like, oh, well, you know, what about Lex? You want Lex. So apparently, when he jumped ship and mm-hmm. appeared oh, on yeah. the first Nitro, the person who he pissed off the most apparently was Linda. Okay. And Linda told Vince, I never want him back in our company. Oh. Mm-hmm. And so when WCW folded, they're like, no, we're not taking Lex. And he's like, he was talking about, he's like, you know, I'm talking to my manager. I'm like, well, why not? And they're like, well, Linda, he's like, Linda? <laughs> I was like, did he just, did he pull a pizza? Yes, he did. Amazing. So, yeah, that, that was really cool. He, he was super nice. He shook everyone's hand, you know. Just, right. He was a nice guy. Nice. So, yeah, it was it was a cool, like, little, you know. Did you get photos? Did you get selfies with them? No, they were no. like, don't do photos. Don't ask for autographs. Just mm. It's kind of like a, you know, let me sit and pick your brain for a bit, you know. Sure. So. How was the waffle? The waffle was good. Yeah? Yeah. Good smell your breath. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Anything else for uh, news? No, that's all I have. All right. Me. It's rumor time. Rumors. Vince McMahon gets kicked out for sex allegations. That, that happened. But then he returns and takes back the company. He did that. And then Vince sells the company but stays in power. Jesus. Oh my God. And then Vince dyes his hair black and has a stupid mustache. Confirmed. PW Insider reports AJ Styles will be uh, returning to SmackDown this Friday. It's been almost two months yeah. since we last saw Styles when he lost to Cody Rhodes at Clash at the Castle, but he's been in Japan for WWE's Japan tour. Yeah. But he's coming back. I don't, he, I don't know. Where's he, he going to fit? He fought in... Like LA Knight? No, they already co- fought. Like a couple promotions in Japan? Yeah, right. But one of the nights of the tour the main event was aj cody and nakamura mm. in a triple threat for the wwe title. oh that guy nakamura yeah, right. nakamura holy shit yeah i guess the good brothers are like hey we're gonna be on tv this friday that's good yeah, right yeah. two weeks in a row yeah, right, right, right. Right. <laughs> also uh, pw insider reports that the hardy boys met with wwe officials in cleveland during SummerSlam weekend Hopefully really? it's for like a Legends contract. It's gotta be for that. Please, no. Are they in the hall? Look, Legends no. contract no. means that they, they'll show up on like a Raw anniversary. Jeff might yeah, but, do a swanton and that's it. It's gotta be, like they can go in the hall now. But that's a year from now. Well, I Not guess. really. They'd be like, just hey, let's meet six talk months. about it. I know, but like you'd meet to just discuss it. You, you guys, guys are, are being here. hopeful. We're here. I think they made a deal so that they die in a WWE ring because that's how they want to go out. <laughs> right. Right. We want to die in the ring. Yeah. Because the I mean, but but yeah, if you're Triple H, you're like, how how can these guys? I yeah. can't pay these guys to wrestle. No, I know they're gonna kill themselves or someone else mm-hmm. or both. I think it might have been that first discussion of Hall of Fame, just Maybe. around the corner. Yeah. yeah. Uh, speaking of brother tag teams, Fightful reports that Ray Phoenix and Penta El Cero Miedo, uh, their contracts are up in AEW in a few months, and WWE is interested. Some are saying it's basically a done deal. The Lucha Bros 
are coming to WWE. If they could like, you know, not do lucha things. Like if they Come if on. they just don't go full lucha, they yeah. could be you know, it could be good. Why would they want them though? Lucha house party revival. <laughs> Because they're better than Berto and well, it's true. Angel I, and we are better than yeah. Them. So <laughs> and they'll be in a stable with Rey Mysterio. I always hundred percent. I always loved Penta's look. Oh, His yeah. look is amazing. Great, you yeah. know. So if it's like if you could just calm down right. a bit and sell. Speaking, you know, like sell a no, little bit, like like ding 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 destroyer. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? What right. and yeah. no sell. <laughs> right. So. I've I've brought up this promotion before, uh, Lucha Underground. Yeah, there is a match, Penta versus Io Sky. Oh, interesting. Um, yes, mm-hmm. and then there's one where it's like Penta, I think Ray Phoenix and one other versus Io, Kyrie and one other girl. Mm. So I'd okay. love, I'd actually kind of like to see those. Yeah, right. I'm sure you would. Yeah. Also, I forgot to bring this up for breaking news. Uh, NXT announced that for their debut on Sci-fi. CW, uh-huh. uh, their debut, it's going to be at the Allstate Arena in Chicago. So it's like a big show. Oh. You know? Yeah. And the- CM Punk is going to be on that episode of NXT. When is that happening? Uh, January. Like the rest of them? Oh, no, October. October. Yeah. They're moving to the CW. Apparently, they're going to. Yeah. They're going to start touring NXT again. Well, that's it. They're touring. The first week is Chicago, and Punk's going to be there. The next week is in St. Louis, and Randy Orton's going to be there. Oh, nice. nice. So this is their way of like, hey, come to see NXT. So they're going to definitely try yeah. to make NXT a big deal. Just, you know, cut the say by the belt bullshit. Sure. And, and, and you got to steal a couple of big stars over from other promotions. That's kind of what they always did. Yeah. The biggest star and, and whatever. That's and, what I mean. Like, Lucha Bros can go there. Yeah. You know? Like, don't, like, AEW. Not they're huge, but. AEW yourself and book Toyota Center for an NXT show. Yeah. Right. So you have to have there's it all. plenty of other arenas. Right. right. There's plenty of smaller. But again, arena. they they booked Allstate. Allstate's well, big. Yeah. big. But if you're advertising bulls. I think it's law if Punk is wrestling. You have to <laughs> and you're a go fan. see it. Yeah. Yes. But again, like the Orton, hometown, St. Louis, right? Sure. So yeah. no, no. They might keep that up for a while. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah. But yeah. Bring back Enzo More. Put him on the fucking show. Sure. That'd be huge. Do it. it. really would. Be awesome. Yeah. How you doing? How you doing? Uh, anything else? No. Trivia time. Just in the last four months since WrestleMania. Yeah. So think after WrestleMania. Yeah. yeah. How many times have any titles changed hands since WrestleMania? Any titles? Yes. So okay. So okay. We just had four. We We just had four. (laughs) Yeah. Um. So start with those four. So it's after Mania, the day after. Day after. How many times? How many times have the titles have changed hands? Okay. Okay. The tag titles. Like twice, three times. How many times? Who did DIY beat? Okay, two on SmackDown, uh-huh. two on Raw, so that's eight. Um, Do you count tag titles as two separate titles? No. Like, if you win the tag titles, that's that's one right, change. Right, but there's a SmackDown and a Raw tag title, so yeah. that's different. So, so that's eight. Yep. Um, the you, uh, no, no, I'm sorry. We're Work through those real slide. quick. Who, who won the SmackDown ones? The initial were okay. A-Town, down But under. that was Manius, that didn't count. Right. DIY beat them, right? uh-huh. and then DIY just lost right. to the Bloodline. So that's two. That's, that's two. That's what I'm saying. Two yeah. on SmackDown. And what about Raw? Raw uh, was awesome. Oh, Awesome Truth won them. At yeah, Mania. Awesome at Truth Mania. won them at Mania. Okay, and, and then, then they lost them to Judgment Day. Just recently, Judgment Day. So that's only one on Raw. So right. it, okay, it's seven. They're at seven so far. Um, the women's titles, yes. Hold on. Yes. <laughs> A, uh, okay, so... Liv beat Rhea. Well, no. Well, no. First, Be- Rhea dropped it. Becky won it, so that's eight. Yeah. Then Liv beat her, nine. Uh-huh. Um, hold on, hold on. What did you just say? Li- Liv beat Rhea. No. I'm sorry. Liv beat Becky, but that counted as one change. But Becky won the belt after Mania. From... Because Rhea dropped it. Yeah. And then Becky won it. Becky won it. And then in the Battle Royal. Okay. Yeah. Right, right, right. yeah. So we're at that's nine. So that's nine, yeah. Uh what are their belts? There's no other belts, right? 
or there's no other belt. We cut. Oh, Nia. But we already covered SummerSlam. Mm -hmm. So that's so nine. I think it's nine. It's nine. Yeah. 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 There you go. Yeah. I mean, again, four happened. You know, intercontinental four. in and, one and, night. And US. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. I thought it was interesting that Cody's the only last man standing from Mania. And yeah. that there's been several title changes, which is good for oh, the company. Oh, he's the only one, huh? He's the only one yeah. that yeah. left Mania with of House of the yeah. Schmuck. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's do some fan questions. Yep. yep. Let me pull yep. them up. Everybody loves the fan questions. Yeah. Yeah. Roman's cross-eyed cousin, so uh, I don't want to be that guy, but has anyone else noticed? It sure does look like Rhea Ripley has a crotch tattoo that peeks out a little sometimes. Pretty cool. I think you definitely want to be that guy. Yeah. Zboog69, Eric, nice meeting you at GCW. No blood at a hardcore show? What the fuck? I thought last year's show was better. Oh, That's okay. Weird. Yes. Really? Yes. Uh, I did meet a fan at GCW. Mm -hmm. No blood at all? No. Was it, a no was it a bloodless arena? I guess so. Uh, Hugh fucking Mark. Nice. Hugh. Mm. Hugh fucking Mark. Yes, right. Predict the men's and women's Royal Rumble winners now that we're past Mania and SummerSlam. Boy. Uh, Ooh. Okay, men's. Wow. It's Fuck tough. it. Kevin Owens. No, that's not. No, it's going to be CM that's Punk. That's the most Mark answer. I know. I, again. It's again. Punk. I would say Punk. Punk. It's it, To give him his main event. Again, it could be Cena. Ooh. <sighs> That's punk, good. Cena, or The Rock. Those are my three, but probably Punk. Yeah, I think Punk's punk. not getting a main event. One night is Rock Roman. Another night is Cody versus punk. Cena. It's not Punk. They're doing Punk Seth. They're probably opening one of the nights, but I don't know if we'll he see. gets his main well, that's event That's our yet. guess. What's your guess? I said Cena. Cena. Wow. What right about now? women? <clears throat> women, Tristratus. Stratus. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> AJ Lee. Light it up, light that would be amazing. Just take it No. Maybe like, um, like, no. I was going to say like Kyrie Sane, give her a moment. No. Because her wrestling's good enough. She just can't really speak. No. No. Sasha Banks. EO? AEW is going to fold in like a month. No, I'm just kidding. A uh, returning Charlotte. That's probably yeah. what's going to happen. That's Ooh. probably it. Yeah. Yeah. Even though she's already won one. Yeah, who cares? Yeah. She's won so much. Fuck. They do it every time. Because Tiffany Strat has the Money in the Bank briefcase, so she doesn't yep. need to win it. Right? Yeah, she'll win it, and then Tiffany will cash in on her. Uh huh. Fossey32 looks like Rhea is sick of Dom's penis. Yeah. Yeah, yeah she is. Definitely. Uh, Nick up, please. I just did a year sub. Pew, 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 pew. Uh, I'm just leaving a comment to tell everyone on the fence that it's definitely worth the, uh, worth the price of admission. I'm a truck driver, and the worst promo brackets uh, had me damn near passing out behind the wheel from laughter. Same. Thanks for everything, guys. So we're almost causing car accidents? Um, let's hope not. Yeah. Well, thank you for the uh, yeah. Thank you for that, Nick. Appreciate that. Yeah. Jonathan Ramos, where should the Wyatt Six go from here? That's tough. I imagine they'll go after tag titles. That would be the first thing in my book, but I just don't know what tag the judgment titles. day. I yeah. mean, they could go. Yeah. You could have a uh, Bo go after Priest or Jay Uso. Wait, no. They're hold they're on. They're good guys. They're good guys. Oh well. Yeah. I mean, they could go either way. No, they're good awesome. guys. Right. Will he? Will Uncle Howdy ever win a world title? No. no. Wow. Yeah. Sucks. Right. Sucks to suck. Maybe. But. Maybe. But Gunther's holding this for a long time. I, I, I would say so. no. You oh, think yeah. at least till Mania, Gunther's holding this title? At least. At least. Fuck. Triple the H. Cody's likes. holding his. So again, no more world title changes for the next fucking nine months. Again. Damn. At least when it happens, it's a big deal. But. Yeah. Triple H likes long title reigns, especially when it's Gunther. Gunther holds him a while. Yeah, he does. Gunther, Gunther, Gunther. Yeah. That cemetery guy, I just saw in the local Baltimore news that Bronson Reed is still giving Seth tsunamis. Oh, wow. I'll let you know if it's still happening on the 11 o'clock news. Thank you. Thank you for right. the update. Thanks for the update. Uh, that dog has a puffy tail. I'm pretty sure Reed thought Seth was the crusty burglar and just wasn't able to find him at SummerSlam. Oh, that was it. Yeah. Pop culture junkie, my uh, five year old son Oliver starts kindergarten tomorrow. 
Would Stone Cold and Flair give my amazing son motivational pep talk to prepare him for his new adventure? Are these the guys you want to ask about this? Probably not. <laughs> yeah. Bring beer and, and give it to all your classmates and you'll be the most popular kid in school. At least you would with me. You are the boy in your school. <laughs> Woo! All right. Th thanks, Rick. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Orton's voices. Another PLE. Another Randy loss. Uh, I think I saw something that his last win was at Wool Games. Wool Hopefully, games. one more dominant run soon. No, he's he's won singles matches. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, he's a guy. He doesn't have to win all the time. Well, especially when you're older. Yeah. And you don't really need the push anymore. You know, that's what you do. Thomas Atherton, Andrew, out of all the other co-hosts, rate who grinds your gears the most. Some may say Josh, but I think it's Aaron. Uh, Aaron really knows how to push your buttons, especially when it comes to trashing great movies. No, it's Josh. It's not even... I mean, it's Josh. It is. It's 100% Josh. It's really only Josh, honestly. The Josh. Uh, the real Mr. Kennedy. Can you guys do the birthday shout-out for my son, Hunter Kennedy? He turns 12 on the 11th. He's not a big wrestling fan, but he gets a kick out of you guys and the impressions yeah. you did last year for him. Oh. Mm. So, just do it like... Happy birthday, Hunter! No. Yeah, go ahead. I thought you were going to do Kennedy. No, I don't do, do that. Do events. I mean, I kind of do it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, oh, Hunter. little man. Yeah, you're, you're going to be a little bit older this year. Yeah, Hunter, I can't wait to celebrate with you in the big sky! In a hundred years. Yeah. That's it. I've got your gimmick. You're a hunter. Your name's Hunter. You are a hunter. I'm going to give you a bow and arrow and red flail. Vince, you're not allowed around children anymore. <laughs> no. No, you're not. I'm not around. I'm not allowed uh, around anyone anymore. <laughs> and you're, and you're going to step in bear poop. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Uh, Matt Fox, am I the only one that thinks Michael Cole yeeting sounds like the water boy noise? Oh, my God. Holy. <laughs> H2O. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucking great. Cena sucks. He really, really sucks. Cena sucks. And goes like, no. Heat. <laughs> Kimbo wow. went to Mexico City and went to Lucha Libre with my wife. Uh, condensed Mark report. You can see where Tony Khan gets his ideas from. Uh, ref was older than Earl Hebner with the knees of Braun Strowman. God. Far too many best of three falls. A guy in the second match had to get taken away in an ambulance after nearly breaking his neck from an over-the-top rope botch. Uh, Pac is a good wrestler in person. Wait, Pac was there? Yeah, it was Pac. AEW. MJF in the main event was fun. Wow. I got sure. in a fight with a guy for... Uh, standing, saluting MJF. Obviously, he doesn't understand kayfabe. Uh, a quart of Michelada. Oh, Michelada beer for five bucks, 10 out of 10. Wow. Wouldn't go again, zero out of 10. Wife wouldn't go near it again. All right. I saw a clip of MJF like telling all the fans, like, all of you are trying to illegally cross the border. Oh, Jesus. Because <laughs> he's the all American champ right now. Yeah. Yeah. And people are like, this is not okay. This is right. It's like, he's playing a character. It's like you're watching a TV show and it's fake. It's a fake TV show. Did he change the name of that title? Yeah. And That's he made awesome. it all like right. it looks like the US title. God, he's not JBL. <laughs> right. Uh, Vader's Pit Sweat. Uh, what do you guys think about a potential feud between Woods and. Who are you? I guess Odyssey Jones. Woods didn't seem too happy to see him. Please let this be the start of Heel Woods. It, it's it's looking like it. I mean, it's, gotta it's be. looked like it for years. Well, not like this, where not he's like, like uh, who the fuck is this? Not like yeah. this. Not like this. Tyron Grizz, if I had a nickel for every time the Wyatt Six used Dexter Loomis as a weapon, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird <laughs> that it happened twice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah but they're crazy. What are you going to do? I don't think so. <laughs> on a scale from 1 to 10, how soaked was Wade Barrett after watching Bronson's attack on Seth? I'm going to have to skip SmackDown because I'm over soaked. I've come. I'm super soaked. Yeah. Max Power was Michael Cole really talking about Shayna Baszler stirring the soup. Doesn't seem very PC for 2024. Hashtag cancel Cole. Oh. What is, what is I thought that? she liked to make soup. 
Yeah. Is that a reference to something else? I don't know. Yes. Andy Piconi, fantasy book a triple threat match with Rollins, Punk, and Drew at Mania for the title. All right, you ready? Yeah. yeah. So Drew McIntyre uh-huh. versus CM Punk uh-huh. versus Seth Rollins. Who's the champ? For the title <laughs> at Mania. Who, who walks in champ? Who Drew. Who walks out champ? Punk. Nice. Book it. work, yeah. Yeah. It's just that easy. Angelo, <laughs> Pushfire Barry returns uh, Roman at SummerSlam. Rollins at Extreme Rules 2016. I don't remember that. That was his return after the injury. Was that when he like pedigreed Roman? Got yes. It. That was good. Uh, Cody at Mania to face Rollins. I think I would push the Seth thing. That was magical. Yeah. Just yeah, above the Roman at SummerSlam. Right. Because that was great, too. They're okay. all great. They're all really, really great. So. Yeah. Rito, Eric, please give us the Mark report and also that photo you posted with Kurt looked like you gave him a handy. Yeah, you didn't even mention Kurt Angle. What is it with Rito and dicks? Like, everything is dicks, dicks, dicks. Well, you know, he listens to this podcast, Eric. I know. So, and he podcast loves is all dicks. Quit obsessing about my dick. He loves no, it. it's about Kurt's dick. Well, there's other comments about mine. Okay, but how was his dick, Eric? <laughs> Answer the question. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. You didn't even mention the Kurt Angle of all. Yeah, I was know? waiting for that. Oh. Like, that should have been the... You've met him before. I've met him before. Yeah, he like, was like... I jacked him before. Best. <laughs> I uh, met him once uh, Once when he was drunk. Yeah. Yeah, it was nice. great. Uh, monster number 69. Oh. Everybody uh, talks about a heel Orton for Cody's next challenger. What if it's Kevin Owens that turns against Cody? Uh, that could have a great feud, and that way you keep Orton versus Cody at Mania. Here's the problem... It's going to make me hate Cody even more. Yeah. To have to watch Cody beat Kevin Owens like three times in Kevin a row. Kevin needs his moment, and it needs to happen soon. And we'll, we're all for it. So I don't want him to go heel just to lose. Correct. He's not getting another moment. He had it, and that was Wrestling Stone Cold in the main event of WrestleMania. <laughs> he'll right. have another moment. There's, no, there's not going to be a moment better than that. Yeah. You know? I think he'll win a world title. And he already was Universal Champion. I don't know if it's going to happen again for I'd him. I'd love him to beat Cody. He hasn't won a belt in seven years. So singles. he's overdue. Yeah. Tag belts don't count. Right. Seven <laughs> years, singles title. That's insane. Red shirt guy, you guys like Cody when he came back to WWE and got fooled by him. So how long do you think the high will last before Roman sucks again? Especially if he's not with Paul Heyman. I think he's a made man at this point. Yeah, yeah. me too. He, like unless he starts doing su- suffering suck attack. Yeah, he's not. Which he's not. Right. Yeah, he's just gonna be cool Roman now. Yeah, <laughs> this he's is... gonna be like the anti heel. Like he's right. still gonna be kind of a dick. Yeah, but he'll still say acknowledge me because even when he did, the fans came over it. Yeah. Uh, this is from Fa Tua. <laughs> uh, Eric, welcome back. Uh, who did you bust harder for, Kurt or Liv? Answer correct. Yeah, honestly. Live. All right. All right. Lies. <laughs> Penis pump. Who or what is next for Rhea and Rhodes? Well, what do the two have to do with each other? Nothing. He's just asking them sure separately. Rhea's mixed, again, mixed tag match with Priest versus Dom and Liv. And who's Cody fighting at the next one? That's a good question. That is a good question. Because it can't really be the bloodline anymore. Oh, man. Does he fight at Unless Berlin? it's like Fatu or some shit. There um, is. I mean, he could fight Roman. No, no, at Bash and, at Berlin, Eric. Yeah, no, fuck and, no. And then Solo cost no. Roman the match. No, no. Mm-mm. I mean, I, 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 I understand why you would say that, but I don't think so. But who else is even on SmackDown? I mean, I guess again, you can just wild card anyone else, anyone you fucking want over the other show. True, because they just did that. It's yeah. a good question. I don't know who right. else is left. Oh. Who else is left? It's tough. I don't have an answer for that one. Yeah. Krell Johnson. Krell Johnson pushed Josh. That's it. Wow, that's insane. That's it. That's the question. I wonder if they would do a friend thing with Kevin Owens. Mm. Like, hey, man, I've helped you. Mm. I want my title shot. And Cody's like, you got it. I mean, maybe that beats maybe that in. fan maybe that fan was right. Yeah. KO turns heel. That's too boring if it's face face. Yeah, I mean, it'll be a great match. We need a heel KO. Match of the year candidate. It's about the story. You got to have a good, you know, you got to turn on him. I agree. I'm just saying what I think is going to happen. Yeah. Uh, Strong woman. Is it just me or does Jelly Roll look like a fat undertaker? Undertaker. 
Fatter taker? Yeah, maybe. Nice. Uh, Leprechaundom, how long do you think Gunther holds the title for? I think we talked about this, at least Mania. Maybe longer. Oh, we'll see. I hope not. Two Vinces, one cup. I was uh, also at SummerSlam. Yeah. Unfortunately, I was unable to find Eric. I was really looking forward to changing my na- uh, Patreon name to Two Vinces, One Cup featuring Eric Hamilton. Aw. Uh, okay. It's an yeah. ode. You get twice the Vince and twice the shit. Great. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Joseph Riling, what did Seth do to deserve having to endure six tsunamis from Fat Bronson Reese? Bronson Reese. Yeah. Right. Uh-huh. 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 Josh. Donald Alexander with Liv and Rhea both chasing Dom. I bet he'd give Drew a run for his money in cock size. Yeah, I doubt it. Nah. Don B. A. Kunt. Uh, so they're <laughs> really going to do Finn and JD versus Priest and Rhea for the tag titles because I would be all for it. Uh, they for could the do tag that. titles? Interesting. No, I don't think so. No. Priest and Rhea were just the main champs. Now they're going to get the tag titles. Yeah. I think the Rhea thing... They're going to hold that off till Mania. Rhea's going to beat Liv at Mania. They're going to take that long to tell the story. You know? It's possibly. Probably. But I think that's when Rhea wins it back. Yeah. Josh is Brian. <laughs> that's great. Who is more soaked? Wade Barrett watching Reed hit six tsunamis or Eric sitting next to Kurt Angle? Were you soaked? It would be Wade Barrett. Kyle James, uh, guys, no more, no more comments about Eric <laughs> jerking Jesus, off. Jesus, I don't angle. like bust nuts. Make for it wrestlers. stop. It's a we joke, know. Eric. We yeah, know. they're I just know. jokes. I know. I don't suck on feet, Eric. I mean, we tell jokes around here. We tell. <laughs> okay, maybe once. But I'm saying we tell jokes. They're jokes. Maybe twice a week for the past eighteen years. <laughs> the jokes. Yeah. Joe sucks feet, and you. Jerk off Kurt Angle. That's okay. just, these yeah. are facts of life. Okay. Uh, Kyle James, no question this week. Due to the emergency surgery, I need to fix my shoulder after holding up the ones oh. uh, <laughs> since Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Rotator Bradley, cuff injuries can yeah. be a bitch. Right. right. Bradley Bain, if you had to choose between Bronson Reed winning the title or Damian Priest becoming champion again, what would you choose? Because they're both awful. I guess Br- Priest. Priest, I guess. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. That's awful. Shit or piss. People. Yeah, really. Uh, Ivana Sukarik. Yeah, sure. sure, sure. Okay. Uh, <laughs> is the bloodline... I don't know if they did that right. Yeah. Ivana Sukarik. Uh, is the bloodline storyline basically building the rock, leading the bloodline in Mania against Roman? Uh, also, Fatu is amazing. I think he has the most potential from that group. I mean, that's... Yeah, without question. Yeah, Jacob is... A- that was a kayfabe kind of injury, right? Yes. So that Roman didn't face him in the ring. Yeah, it's, yeah, it certainly felt that. You had to get Fatu, you know, out of there somehow. And you didn't see anything like break or snap or anything. When no, he but he's yeah. selling it. He's wearing yeah. a walking boot. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah, good kayfabe. So. Yeah, keep it alive. But yeah, I mean, again, I think it's Rock Roman at, at at Mania. Sure. And it's it's Bloodline versus Bloodline in War Games, right? Yeah, and, and we'll see if Rock shows up. I doubt it, but that'd he be has cool. to show up and be like, I control this Bloodline. At least, yeah, like may, even if he doesn't wrestle, it'd be cool if he shows up. Yeah, that's all you gotta do. Tony, one man mafia. Does Rhea and Damien form a new faction? If they do, what are the new faction names uh, you guys are throwing in the hat? I mean, family. Da- Damien yeah. dot dot D fast uh, family. Rhea D, D Rhea diarrhea. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Mr. Batman's the best. Why does Grayson Waller bend over too much for a chair shot? He's getting hit with a chair, not getting fucked in the ass. Oh, Jesus Christ. God. Wow. Agreed. All right. Rizzler, climate change is real. Six tsunamis in less than five minutes. That's catastrophic. I agree. Wade Barrett was busting nuts. Yep. Uh, buck, <laughs> buck my ass? Okay. Mark Hamilton, how does Kurt's milk taste? <laughs> Oh, okay. Andrew. All worse. right. So next week we are definitely going to be vetting these questions. <laughs> Eric these is were vetted. I don't know what questions. you're talking about. Eric's like, all right. So the fan question of the week uh, goes to this one guy. Hey, Eric. How cool is it being on a podcast? It's great. All right. That's fan questions. Yeah. Right. right. Thanks for uh, subscribing, Jeff. Uh, Eric, when Kurt fucks you in the ass, do you? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. He's reading it? <laughs> Gary Pendleton, Pushfire Barry, Ryback, Bronson Reed, Josh Reese. 
Ooh, oh, I guess we're pushing Josh. Piss shit or diarrhea. Which we one? already know what these other guys could do in the ring. Which yeah. one? Hey, let's throw Josh in there. See what he he can do. <laughs> yeah. Slipping and sliding. Uh, I believe in Josh Reese. Is Eric married? According to episode seventy, he is. <laughs> wow. What? Jesus. Seventy out of seven hundred. Good for you. Oh, it says is he married to Kurt Angle? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Andrew, <laughs> stop while you're ahead. Eric, yes, he's yeah, you, yeah, Eric, yes. Oh, Eric's yeah. married. Yeah, yeah. Alex Reduceco, are you guys ready for that Bronson Reed push? Are you guys ready to get soaked? Yep, a lot of that this week. I can't. Believe Whisper it. in the wind. Is it me or has Seth really gotten into the dad bod? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't, I don't think, think so. so. Yeah, I don't think so. No, he looks good. Still yeah. looks good. CrossFit yeah. Jesus. He looks good. Right. He looks good. All right. Anything? Wait. Should I check to see if there's more? There could be more. <laughs> Andrew? Fan questions. I would not. I don't know. There <laughs> might be more. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast. Follow the show on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Wrong Wrestling. Get a t-shirt like uh, this one. Don't be plugging on a podcast at ProWrestlingTees.com slash What's Wrong With Wrestling. And most importantly, become a supporter of the show. Get over 700 bonus podcasts at patreon.com slash what's wrong with wrestling we're at 930 what is it four Two. 934 total ah. patrons at 1000 i'll shave my fucking head and i'll do this for the entire podcast oh hell yeah what i can't wait what's wrong with